It yeah, sounds like the Kip it sounds like the Kipling music. Is it Kipling? You mean Kingdom for Kathleen's? He... Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I mean kind of. Okay. Um what are you guys just eating some lunch? What are you what are you are you talking about or anything? What's the plan here? Well, I don't think we exactly have much to do today. I think we're going to check, or we should check with Victor and see if he found anything. <laughs> Victor's still trying to open up a USB drive. Hey, he's struggling with a computer to turn it he, on. He has the USB or, stick plugged into the internet wire slot. He has it plugged into the HDMI it. slot. It's upside, it's upside down. Are you struggling with the USB? Yeah, maybe you uh, maybe you can give me some help with this, Maxine. This is just stupid. Hate for technology. Except for my technology. It's like I'm so technological. And you, you I can't just plug it. it in there. Have you been doing this the entire time? I don't want to say yes, but that's what it feels like. Okay, well, hey, I, we I guess we I'll allow... I guess I'll allow another investigative mystery. I don't know if it should be me. Yeah, it should be. Let's see. Somebody Sharp. else is. I feel like somebody else is rolling. Yeah, maybe I Wyatt. Technological two. Wyatt. Is your sharp a plus two, Wyatt? Plus one. No, that's a minus. Maybe Charlie think, should roll yeah. in. Yeah, Charlie can do it. Eight. All right, so you get to you, you get to ask one question. Um, what is being concealed here? I mean, that's pretty much the only one you can a ask. So, so, in other words, is there any more pictures with the guy with the red eyes, right? Yeah. So, in four other photos, uh, you see uh, the creature like way off in the background almost you had to really like scan and zoom in on all of these pictures but you have found the creature in four other pictures like way off hidden behind a tree only slight images like maybe one eye in one of them but like you did see the creature in four other pictures well that would have helped charlie i didn't realize i could zoom i was just looking at the pictures like this this is way better you just scroll. Oh, well, now I know. Okay. So, was this thing following her? Or was Rachel just following her? Or What questions did you ask? What question? Sure. She, yeah, did you ask about her relationship before? Like, this seems Yeah, she, she said that she knew them, basically, and that was about it. She didn't have, like, a close relationship. I guess she's better friends with her sister, but maybe that's just because her sister's like, uh, putting up posters everywhere, trying to get things going that way, looking for her. But she's very anti-Elias. Well, I mean... They all think that he's behind it. it I don't want to say it looks like this thing's photobombing her, but, I mean... It seems to be always around. Yeah, so uh, are the pictures from different, like, areas, or are they multiple pictures of the same area? The pictures are all in different locations. And so, something yeah. something that you do notice is the creature is very, very far away, which should give you a tip as to something. Do I do I need to fill in that that blank? That it's yeah. trying to keep its distance. Nope. It's trying to watch what she's doing and not get noticed. No. Nope. Okay, fill in the gap. Okay. It's manipulation of electronics doesn't seem to have an effect oh, uh -huh. at long distances. Oh. Well, we got. But we got still pictures close up, didn't we? No. 
fight. We've okay. never, we you have uh, never received. You have never had the creature on camera, other than the quick glimpse that you had when the camera flew over its head. Yeah, we've never tried with the snapshots either, though, have we? Not yet. Because our encounter was when we found the video corrupted, and we haven't had another encounter other than that quick glimpse. Okay, but that means if we are possibly filming from a far distance, that we might be able to catch this thing on... I just remembered something that's a flaw in your storytelling. What? <gasps> How dare you? You said, I said I took a picture of his arm when he stopped touching the pedestal to see the conversion. Mm -hmm. And you told me that it wasn't clear in the picture because of the fog, but then you also told us there's no fog around the pedestal, then it moves with it. I also said it was dark. You said fog. I did, but I also said it was dark. Fair enough. But there was no fog. <laughs> Maybe it happens when you're touching it. You don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not a perfect uh, rememberer of storylines, so just keep that in mind when when there no, are I'm gaps. I'm not blaming you. I just made the random connection <laughs> from stuff that has happened multiple games ago. As investigators, that's what we're supposed to try and do. That's yeah, that's so fine. <laughs> He's like, I, I'm not bothered. I don't, re I don't really care. I'll, uh, I'll own up to it now. There are holes and plot gaps in my stories. Unacceptable. <laughs> Needs to be perfect. Then I need you guys to do a lot better than what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really suck. Okay. So are we just skipping this day? Is that what the plan is or what? Uh, what were the girls or what was Frankie and uh, and Wyatt and Maxine supposed to be researching when they uh, just abandoned what they were doing? Oh, Elias's notes. Yeah. Oh, and right. Elias's notes were just crazier and crazier. Some of them are quite entertaining. What, you like the, uh, uh, what was it, the Infinite Acorn or whatever it was called? I, th I think that was it. Wasn't there something about a cosmic banana peel? Yep. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, we could, unless there's some other people that we want to talk to, uh, we could fast forward to the, to the, uh, What's her name's video or whatever, the conference. That's what you guys want to do? I don't exactly know what our plan was for the day. Okay. Well, it can be anything. Like, you guys can do whatever you want to do. It doesn't have to be all planned out. Okay, are we that seems to be the best bet. All right. So. We jump forward and we are sitting around a laptop and we have joined the Zoom meeting for the discussion from Dr. Helena Sinclair entitled Quantum Realms Unveiled Navigating the Shadows of Perception. So there's some uh, <laughs> generic. Uh, music kind of playing in the background a little bit just uh, stuff going on that happens before a stream um, you guys are sitting around a thing comes across the screen saying the stream will begin soon um, and then um, let's pop her on the screen here 
do do. Let's see if I can find her actually. Oh, there she is. Perfect. Look at me. Uh, Dr. Helena Sinclair appears on the virtual stage. Behind her is a com bunch of complex equations and diagrams, and she smiles at everyone. And she starts. Greetings, fellow seekers of knowledge, and welcome to tonight's lecture, Quantum Realms Unveiled, Navigating the Shadows of Perception. I am Dr. Helena Sinclair, and I'm delighted to have this opportunity to explore with you the fascinating frontier of quantum physics. Uh, the screen behind her, there's a transition, uh, and now it displays some images of quantum phenomena and intricate mathematical equations. Uh, tonight, we embark on a journey into... Oh, sorry. Okay. Frankie is not coming. Kind of figured that was happening, but that's okay. Um, tonight we embark on a journey into the depths of quantum realms where the ordinary rules of our reality begin to unravel. One of the intriguing concepts we'll be delving into is the notion of alternate dimensions coexisting with our own, a concept that has recently sparked much interest. It the screen behind her again switches and it displays uh, some animations illustrating quantum entanglement and the interconnectedness of particles. Quantum entanglement, the phenomenon where particles become interlinked, has long been a cornerstone of quantum theory. But what if this entanglement extends beyond the microscopic scale, creating bridges between dimensions we can scarcely perceive? The background shifts again to images that kind of talk about shadows and the shadow realm. The shadows that dance at the edge of our perception may hold the key to understanding these alternate dimensions. Witnesses describe encounters with shadowy figures that defy our understanding of the physical world. Could these manifestations be glimpses into a shadow realm, a parallel space influenced by quantum entanglement? Again, it pops up with different equations and theoretical models that are all related to uh, interdimensional spaces. In our exploration tonight, we'll examine the three theoretical framework surrounding these ideas. From the principles of quantum mechanics to the mathematical underpinnings of alternate dimensions, we'll navigate the intricacies of a reality that extends beyond our immediate senses. But, let me be clear, we are at the forefront of exploration. The shadows of perception cast by quantum entanglement beckon us into uncharted territories. As we discuss these concepts, I invite you to question, to ponder, and to contribute to the ongoing dialogue that pushes the boundaries of our understanding. Uh, the screen transitions again, uh, and it shows a... Uh, where to send your questions and comments. Uh, now, I open the floor to your inquiries. Your questions are the compass that guides us through the quantum realms. Let us embark on this intellectual adventure together. Um, so she kind of sits there for a little bit, just kind of uh, looking through some stuff, and she's like, oh, looks like questions are supposed to starting to come in. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to, um, I don't know, ask them or message the group. Ah, our first question comes from Alex in Minnesota. Alex asks, how can quantum entanglement influence the perception of shadows, and could it be connected to the reported sightings of interdimensional entities? Excellent question, Alex. Quantum entanglement introduces a fascinating web of interconnectedness among particles. The transfer of information between entangled particles might extend beyond the boundaries of our known dimensions, influencing how we perceive shadows. Imagine, if you will, shadows as glimpses into these interdimensional threads, where entangled particles create ripples that manifest in our visual spectrum. 
Um, she presses a button and the screen displays uh, animated visuals that kind of illustrate entangled particles and their potential influence on shadows. Um, now let's explore another question. This one comes from Maria in Brazil. Maria wonders, could the shadow realm be a consequence of our collective consciousness influencing the quantum fabric of reality? Maria, your question touches upon a profound aspect of quantum theory, the role of consciousness in shaping reality. The idea that our collective thoughts and perceptions might influence the fabric of alternate dimensions is both exhilarating and challenging. It opens the door to a realm where consciousness becomes a force that resonates beyond individual minds, sculpting the very nature of the shadows we encounter. Um, she presses another button and it starts popping up with like different theories connecting consciousness uh, to co quantum phenomena. As we navigate these intricate ideas, it's important to approach them with a sense of intellectual curiosity. Our understanding is continually evolving and your questions help guide us through the in uncharted territories of quantum realms. It kind of goes through and she uh, touches on a few more questions. Um, in our exploration tonight, we've touched on the captivating interplay between quantum mechanics and the shadows that dance at the edge of our perception. As we conclude, remember that the journey of discovery is ongoing. Your curiosity and engagement fuel the pursuit of knowledge. Um, she displays another slide that just basically is thanking people for their questions. I want to extend my deepest appreciation to each one of you for joining me on this intellectual voyage. The shadows of perception conceal mysteries that invite us to think beyond the ordinary. Until our next exploration, keep questioning, keep seeking, and may the shadows guide you to new realms of understanding. And she gives you a wave and the lecture ends quite a question before the question the lecture ends go ahead uh we sent you a questions oh was that on discord it was on text oh i sent one over uh um facebook messenger yeah and i actually messaged you on discord too okay <laughs> um It's like, and we're out. <laughs> Click. I'm sorry, I didn't see them come through. Well, both of them say now, so within. Um, where are you saying you're from, Wyatt? Ohio, Cincinnati. Wow, Wyatt. Thank you for the intriguing question. Um, it's a fascinating area of inquiry that's it's garnered considerable interest among researchers in recent years. While quantum entanglement indeed allows for the instantaneous correlation of properties between entangled particles, such as spin or polarization, it's important to note that this correlation does not extend to all properties of the particles. Temperature being a macroscopic property arising from the collective behavior of countless particles is not directly influenced by quantum entanglement in the same way as individual properties of, of particles. However, there are theoretical studies exploring the possibility of harnessing quantum entanglement for applications in quantum thermodynamics where entanglement could potentially play a role in manipulating thermal properties at the quantum level. For example, some researchers have proposed using entangled particles to enhance the efficiency of thermodynamics, uh, thermodynamic processes, or to explore novel forms of heat transfer. While it doesn't uh, directly cause changes in temperature between entangled particles, it may hold promise for advancing our understanding of thermodynamics and opening new avenues for technological innovation in the future. Um, 
And where are you saying that you're from, uh, Victor? I'll just say from where I'm at right now. So, Northwest Territories. We never got to hear what Wyatt's question was. Oh, um, sorry. The question was, can temperature changes from uh, can ch temperature change from entangled particles? That's a good question, Wyatt. That's a darn good question. It seemed relevant. Yeah, the question came from Wyatt in Ohio. Maybe we should send Wyatt to Ohio. <laughs> now, now. Charlie really doesn't like Wyatt, hey? <laughs> no. I'm getting that. Why doesn't he like Wyatt? Is that just because Wyatt's tried everything he could to get him arrested? That doesn't help the situation. <laughs> Ah, another excellent question. Uh, Victor, um, from the Northwest Territories. Um, this one delves into the realm of speculate. Oh, I guess I should say the question. Could yes, entities yes, from could. other dimensions control particles in our dimension? For example, teleportation or temperature increase or decrease? This one delves into the realm of speculative physics and theoretical possibilities. The idea of entities from other dimensions manipulating particles in our own dimension is indeed a fascinating concept, albeit one that currently resides at the fringes of scientific inquiry. As we explore the implications of quantum entanglement and the interconnected nature of the universe, it's natural to wonder if entities existing in higher dimensions could exert influence over our own physical reality. Theoretical physicists have proposed various hypotheses to explain phenomena such as teleportation or temperature, temperature changes as potential manifestations of inter, uh, interactions with higher dimensional beings, or beings from, let's say, the shadow realm. In the realm of teleportation, for instance, some speculative theories posit that entities possessing advanced knowledge or higher dimensional geometries could manipulate space-time to facilitate instantaneous travel between distant points. This concept draws parallels to the notion of wormholes or Einstein-Rosen bridges. Um, hypothetical structures that connect disparate regions of space-time. Similarly, the idea of entities from other dimensions influencing temperature changes in our dimension invokes specula speculation about the nature of energy transfer across dimensional boundaries. While such phenomena remain purely theoretical at present, they inspire thought-provoking discussions and fuel the imaginations of scientists and science fiction enthusiasts alike. It's important to emphasize, however, that these exist these ideas exist within the realm of conjecture and speculation, uh, lacking any empirical evidence to support their validity. As scientists, we have to approach such content, concepts with a healthy dose of skepticism, but we also have to remain open to the possibility of exploring novel avenues of inquiry. In conclusion, while the notion of entities from other dimensions controlling particles in our dimension is an intriguing concept, it currently resides on the speculative frontier of theoretical physics. As our understanding of the universe continues to evolve, it is possible that we may uncover new insights that shed light on these enigmatic phenomena. Until then, we must approach such ideas with curiosity, skepticism, and a willingness to explore the unknown. Any other questions before I end the uh, stream? What if we have examples 
of these phenomena, how would we contact you to discuss it more personally? To discuss it more permanently? Personally. Personally. Oh, Wyatt again from Ohio. Um, what if we have examples of this phenomena and how do we contact you? Well, thank you for your follow-up question and your interest in further exploring the phenomena we discussed. If you believe you have examples or experiences related to the topics we've covered, I would be delighted to hear more about them and discuss them further. Um, to contact me for a more personal discussion, you can reach out to my research institute or university department. Um, you can also find contact information on my personal website, um, or sorry, my professional website, or through academic channels such as conference proceedings or research publications. I'm always eager to engage in meaningful dialogue with fellow enthusiasts and researchers, so please don't hesitate to reach out. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, and we can continue ex the exploration of these fascinating topics. Is that it? Before we uh, log off, uh, I just want to scroll through, like, you know, how Zoom, you can see who's all on. I just want to see if there's any names that we recognize in the... No, there wouldn't be any names. In the gallery. Recognize. The only one you might be able to recognize would be Elias, but he's in jail, so he can't be on here. I didn't think so, but I just thought it was a long shot. No, it's not, it was a good point, but yeah, it's just there's not a chance that anybody from town would be in here. All right, well, I hope everybody enjoyed tonight's discussion, and... Uh, well, I will uh, have to schedule another setup for this uh, in the near future. Well, that's me signing off. I'll speak with you all at a later date. Keep on learning. And she waves goodbye. I assume everybody got everything out of that discussion. Totally. I wrote down the stuff that I found important. <laughs> in other words I wrote down nothing Charlie looks like he's about to fall asleep anyway yeah <laughs> alright uh, was there any questions you guys had about is there anything you want to me to repeat for you or for what we went over can you repeat it all I can I'm not going to I can oh no I don't think that's necessary Like, you, none of it's necessary? You don't want me to repeat anything? No, because for me, it, it's, uh, there's a lot that, for my question, was speculation. So it didn't, uh, it didn't really matter. Well, that's the she thing. She doesn't know. All of it's like speculation at this point. Like, they haven't exactly done anything yet. Without her here to test the stuff that we've found and done. It's okay, so then if that's the case, are you guys wanting to reach out to her then? Well, I think Wyatt's already thinking that way. Yeah, so what what are you sending and we her would, to and I out? think we would be on board with that. I don't know. I'm mm, I think that one of y'all needs to do it and not me. I, I I agree, Wyatt. I think that uh, either Maxine or Frankie should send something and let him know, let her know we've uh, we've found some stuff that might be of interest to her. Because, like what Charlie said, uh, with the teleportation or whatever. Uh, there's definitely, it's definitely something beyond what we can figure. 
whether she can help us or whether it would help the show. I don't know. Yeah, we can send something that we would like a private meeting or a private. And is it up to us how much we divulge to her? Do we uh, talk to Tom? I don't know. I mean, again, Charlie and I are just security. So, you know, we're not supposed to be necessarily involved in this part. Just kind of making sure you guys are safe. Okay, so what do you want to send to her? What what do you think is going to intrigue her enough to Interest reach back her? out you? Reach back out to you. That we have evidence of well, I don't know. Okay, so there. that being the case, what evidence do you have? Well, we have the altar. Would Oh no. Well, I can send a picture of the one that we bought, right? Am I allowed to do that? That's yours. But I don't know how that's going to show her evidence of quantum dimensional whatever stuff. yeah do we want to tell it's like do we want people to know that we have the altar no do we because you guys hit it yeah we hit it for good reason and i, I agree with that a hundred percent but that's why i'm saying i don't know if she's what we need for help like we're not trying to figure out necessarily about the dimension thing even though that makes sense right yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Wyatt? I don't know. I think the whole thing sounds far-fetched, but this seems like at least some form of science versus y'all's crazy theory that there's actually some monster doing something and teleporting. Yeah, let's be clear, Wyatt. We already think that that monster is Rachel that has been affected by something. So not necessarily a monster oh. that on purpose, it's, 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 I agree that I agree that it's Rachel, but I don't think that means that she's some kind of monster other than the normal sense of a human being a monster. What? Well, so far she's exhibited characteristics that are unexplicable inexplicable so uh until we figure out what she's how she's doing it this is the answer that makes the most sense right now So, are Wyatt, we interested can you just in trying a, to get hold of her or no? Can you just okay, roll a general ahead, sharp roll, Wyatt? One moment. Jeez, okay. One moment. I think that was a little too high pitched there, Wyatt. Oh, wow. Well. You guys are in the briefing room right now, just to let you know. You are in the briefing room. That would be an eight. Okay. Uh, you catch a quick glimpse of someone standing outside the door and then ducking their head back behind. Behind ben. our door? Or... At the briefing room door. Hey guys, there's somebody over there. Security's not doing their job. Is 
so I'll go we poke to our heads. the door and yeah. check. Okay. One second. Where is she? It's Rachel. She wants to confess. There she is. Um, you see this girl as you poke your head around the corner. And she's like, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I di I just I didn't mean to. I, I I'm sorry. I I just am interested in the stuff that you're working on. I I didn't mean to interrupt. I didn't want to get seen or anything. I just I heard the whole discussion you were having about the shadow realms and different monsters and things. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll I'll go back to work. That uh, no problem. Is there anything you know about it? No, I just I'm really into like the supernatural stuff, you know. Well, anytime you want to join, you're welcome. Um, seriously? Why not? Okay. Yeah, that would be great. What? What's your name? Emily. Nice to meet you, Emily. I'm Maxine, and this is Charlie. Oh, I know who all of you oh, are. Met... Mom talks about oh. you all the time. Who's your mom? Evelyn. Oh. Okay. So. Or e names. <laughs> <laughs> I counted. There's 11 out of the 50 I have. <laughs> that is uh, 20%. That's a lot. How old are you, Emily? I'm 15. Well, it's nice to meet you. Uh, so, so you know about what we're doing here in town? Yeah, mom talks about it when she comes home from work. I just wanted to kind of see what you guys were doing today and then you had the lecture on and I I don't know I got interested and then I guess I got a little too interested and then he saw me. Why I saw you. Yeah. Did you meet? Well, I you've heard of Wyatt. Have you met him yet? No, I didn't know that was Wyatt. Mom made him sound much older. Some of the stuff that he says, I don't know. Yeah, he's a he's an odd one. It's okay. I like old he's things a good, too. He's a good kid. So, uh, <laughs> I think Charlie has I, something different to say about that. I'm homeschooled. I just read above my grade level. Hi, Wyatt. Hi. Anyway, um. No, if I'd I'd love to help out whenever you need it. Do you do you know of well, I don't know how much your mom has told us told you about what we've been doing here. You're here for um, um like you're into like the supernatural stuff. You wanna find monsters and things that go bump in the night. So have you seen anything yourself or heard anything around town? That's kind of what we're, we're trying to talk to as many people as possible. Um, no, not really, but we, I have protection, so. And she holds up like uh, a, a weird symbol that she wears around her neck. What's that? What? Uh, I'm not sure. I got it at the antiquity shop and um, Victoria said that it was uh, something people used to use to ward off evil. Okay, does it look like anything that was on the altar? No. Okay. Not a symbol that anyone would recognize? I'm specifically just making it nothing so that I don't touch on to anything that might be like you know, like yeah, offensive odd. to somebody. 
accidentally yeah. offend a large group of people. Exactly. I'm just, <laughs> I'm specifically staying away from, oh, it's the Star of David. No, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. That's so you said you got that from the antiquities antiquity shop. Yeah, I go there all the time. Mom and I go there on a regular basis to do some shopping. <coughs> we both love antiques, yeah, so a, um, we we check it out. It's a, there's some pretty cool stuff cool there. Store. You haven't yeah, been inside for sure. I thought we had. No, Frankie went inside. You didn't go inside. Oh, I thought we did too. Sorry, it was just, it was the excellent description. I felt like I was there. Good. <clears throat> I'm choking on sun chips. Um. Yeah, no. Um, she has stuff like that. Uh, other stuff like that too. If you feel you guys need protection, but you'd probably make for a bad show if nobody came and. Or nothing came and was after you, right? When is this airing? You have to talk to Tom. Okay, I will. Um, is Tom here? No, no. he's not here. Tom is constantly either on his laptop or on the phone trying to get stuff set up for you guys. I might be able to show you some footage if you wanted to help. Oh, that'd be super cool, Wyatt. Um, right That's now? That's nice. Do you know anything about video editing? I mean, I've watched some YouTube videos. Okay. Do, do we do it here or where do you want to do it? Uh, I mean, the setup I have is in my room. Sure, let's go. Okay. Why did your voice just crack? <laughs> Alright, so you two go to your room to video edit. That seems sketchy. That's what the that's what the kids are calling it nowadays. Leave the door open. <laughs> uh alright. So the rest of you, or ex at least Maxine, you're what are you sending to What's her face? Helena. Um. You want to know the worst thing ever? I have an Elena and a Helena. Oh, do you? Yeah. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> because I, I use a random name generator <laughs> and copy and paste names, and then it's like, oh. <laughs> Oops. When you have 50, it's like, oh. Uh oh. All right, what are you writing? Do you think, should we talk to Tom first before we do this? Or after all the fuss he made this morning? Yeah, the fuss he made this morning was don't break into a police station. Okay, well, I don't want to everybody cross act, any... Everybody acts like, oh, he's yeah, such a bad boss because he got after us for breaking no. into a police station. It's, essentially, it's his show, correct? Yeah. So, so do you want to talk to him or do you just want to send it? No, we'll talk to him. Okay. Uh, so you go out of the briefing room, head up to his room, knock on the door. Uh, he's like, yeah, just one sec. Uh, he opens the door. He's on the phone. He's like, I'll just be one second. All right, so we need four diesel generate or diesel heaters. Yeah, a week. 
If I pay extra, can I sh rush that? All right, yeah, whatever it takes. Uh, three days? Good. All right, bye. What's up? Hey, we're wanting... We took a... Well, we listened to that seminar. What with seminar? The, the one on... What was it? Quantum... Oh, the quantum physics thing? Yeah, what's up? Okay, well, we think that it would actually help to talk to her, like not just listening to a lecture, but actually to talk to her to see if we can see if there's, yeah, some connection between, well, it's the whole teleportation thing that it's like trying to figure out how this works exact well yeah we're just shooting at anything here okay trying um, to figure yeah so what are, are you, what are you asking me you want to get in touch with her yeah sure whatever do whatever you think's right other than breaking and entering i want to be very clear well <laughs> okay i just don't want to ha you were talking about we've got a job to do that type of thing and i understand that it's like i just don't want to get into anything that could hamper the show or screw us up somehow or i don't know it's like yeah, no you're fine I'm, i get I'm, it you'd want more contacts so that you can get more information that makes sense but okay again criminal activity is not recommended yes 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 i i yeah like i said we're trying to you know watch your p's and q's here and yeah it's fine if you want to get in contact with her do it doesn't bother me well it's just it's an outside source so yeah no if I've... we're bringing an outside source yeah is this gonna bring in others or i don't know are we just opening a can of worms here that whole thing possibly i don't know yet Okay, so we're okay with it right now? Yeah. Okay. So, yes. We gotta figure out how to... We... How much do you want it? Or... Yeah, how much do you want us to divulge of what we know? Like, I'm, we're trying to find something that will tempt her to... You can give her whatever you want. With... I, I don't really care. Because none of the information can be quantified unless she comes here. You can send her pictures. Guess what? AI can do a lot of stuff at this point. Oh, true. You can send her videos. Okay. Guess what? AI can do that too. Unless she's here to see it, it's not going to do anything. So, you can give her whatever okay. you want. You can tell her, I saw God come down from the sky and turn this person to an ice monster <clears throat> it's not quantifiable unless she's actually seen it herself because uh -huh. i'm wondering whether we is there well we are all kind of going through uh elias's stuff it's like was there anything that wasn't too crazy to send her like some... you want to send her the cosmic banana peel i saw the group text yeah i think that would that would be the best one i think to send no well, the it's ram acorn. ramblings of a crazy person like that's was not there anything that no okay no. i was like was there anything and then rachel's stuff she started going down crazy town yeah too, so no it's tell like... her what you have tell her that if here's what you say you tell her what you have and uh -huh. say that if you come here and don't find any information we will pay you for your time and by pay you for your time, we'll give you ten grand. That seem fair? Sure. Good. By the way, I don't know, I can't remember which one of you asked because you all talked to me so much. Uh, diesel heaters are going to be here in three days. Four of them. 
Is it just me talking to Tom? I don't know. Could be you and Victor. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I'll go back then. Okay, well, thank you, Tom. I'll do what you say. I'll go back and talk to the guys and tell them. Sounds good. That. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I go back. Guess what? What? He's got your diesel. He's ordered your diesel heater, so that should make you excited. Oh, excellent. Did he give you a time That's frame? Awesome. I, he's, I heard him talking on the phone, so it should be here within a very short time. Did he give you an actual time? I don't know. I wasn't he did. Listening. He just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he's just blah, blah. Do you seriously not remember? <laughs> All right, I'll go talk to Tom. One sec. I was too excited about the hey, getting hold of what's Hey, Tom. Uh, obviously, Maxine's had Three a days. great part. Three days. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Sorry, Tom. All right, Charlie. She said three days. Or he said he three said, days. Yeah. So we got Aren't three you days. Don't be how close your players pay attention. No, I was trying to think about what I was talking to to this doctor. Okay, so I'm basically what everything goes. It's like we're off. I don't know if I want to offer ten thousand dollars though. We're paying her for her time. It wasn't it uh, our boss's idea and our boss's money? No, I know. It, okay, but... so here's the exact thing that he said. He said, if you don't if find anything, she doesn't find we'll anything, pay you for your time. The point, she's is, own... the point is, You're just tempting she's her. supposed to find yeah. stuff. Yeah, but we're just trying to tempt her, period. Yeah. So I'm going to send her... We already know she'll find stuff. Unless she's a quack. Unless we are all quacks. Yeah, no kidding. So, we'll send her, like, the info, like, small details. You don't gotta send her nothing. You just gotta call her on the phone, and you just gotta talk to no, her. There was no phone just... number. It was an email. No, it just said email. You gotta email her and tell her. We have stuff that you that we will want to see. we very interested they in. Don't Come to the in. Northwest Territory. Right. Dress warm. Because it's cold up here. We got a go bag for you. Your very own go bag with a. Your very own GoPro. With your GoPro that's attached to your jacket. It doesn't work. It won't work because of the power that stops all electronics from working, zaps all At things. At this point, it might be better if we get Oliver to write it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we sound you, send like crazy a, you send off an email stating basically we have evidence on our side. If you don't find anything that proves what you need to prove, then we will pay you ten thousand dollars cash. And then P.S. We are not lizard people. Yeah, you know that's a good thing to add. Yeah. Well, most that's of fair. us aren't. Yes. And, and anyway. it'll be in Bitcoin. Except for Charlie. Except for it'll Charlie. It'll be in Bitcoin. So that's what? 0. 0.1 Bitcoin? Anyway. Uh, all right. So you send off the email and you are basically just waiting on a reply. And that's where we're going to call it tonight. Coolio. Hope everybody enjoyed tonight's episode. And uh, we will see you all next week. And we questions. Are... Questions? Oh what? yeah, yeah. One sec. Um, got to before the end of the show. Yeah, finally. Uh, so, did we conclude the current mystery? No. Did we save yes. someone from certain death or worse? No. No. Did we learn something new and important about the world. Yes. No? What? Sure. Victor's a dick. Tom is mean. What? How is Tom mean? Tom is a mean, mean Okay, man. well, wait for the next one then. Did we learn something new and important oh, no. about one of the hunters? So there, there's, the, there's the Victor answer. I go. honestly don't think any of those are a yes answer. What? You're correct. There's none, nothing new about anything. So no However, experience points. However, I did get an experience because I rolled a fail. Yay. So, did you see my so question on Discord? 
Uh, did you ask a different question? I asked you a question. Oh, me specifically. Yeah. Oh. Um, let me look at it. Anyway, sorry, this doesn't need to be on stream. Uh, hope everybody has a great night, and we'll see you all next week. <laughs>